Days before the worst shooting in modern American history, Stephen Paddock amassed an arsenal at the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas, making multiple trips, carrying 20-plus pieces of luggage containing 22 rifles into his suite. Paddock went on to kill 58 people and wound more than 500 others. Now MGM, the owner of the Mandalay Bay, which faces over 1,000 victims' lawsuits, has turned around and sued those shooting victims back. There's confusion by the victims. Now they are being sued by one of the largest companies in America for getting shot. They're just in disbelief and they're mad. The company is not looking for money, but is asking two federal courts to throw out their cases because MGM says it is protected under a federal anti-terrorism law. That law shields private companies from financial liability following a terrorist attack if the business relied on security measures certified by the Department of Homeland Security. MGM says it did. But the FBI never declared the Las Vegas shooting a terrorist attack. This had nothing to do with terrorism, and they have no motive for the shooting. In a statement, MGM writes in part, from the day of this tragedy, we have focused on the recovery of those impacted by the despicable act of one evil individual. Adding, years of drawn-out litigation and hearings are not in the best interest of victims, the community, and those still healing. For victims who believe the hotel could have done a better job protecting them, lawyers say a speedy resolution is not their first priority. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.